Yo, welcome back to a new episode. Um, when was the last episode? <laughs> uh, it's been a while. I think so too, it's been a while. Uh, uh, we, we haven't really had time to, uh, to film a lot. No, we've, been, we've been busy. We've been busy. And, and, uh, and why, why have we been busy? Uh, well, lots of improvements, I guess. Improvements or improvements or uh, backwards or uh, gremlin fixing, not gremlin. It's more. It's more about. I, I don't know if it's called even troubleshooting, but I mean we had a bunch of issues with the car this year. So we did. We have. We have not. We did the one. We did one contest with uh, uh, Time Attack New. At Yellow Rosen. And prior to that, we tested uh, and uh, we did the KW6 post. Yeah. Uh, we did um, Yellow Rosen, no, sorry, Montorp track day. Then we did Yellow Rosen test. Then we did Yellow Rosen race. And then we did Montorp got the deal. Yeah. That sounds right. And uh, I would say almost that we, like the last one was perfect, but it wasn't really. No. <laughs> because uh, uh, every test we did, we had some issues, except for KW and except for Lunda Flygfeld. Yeah. Uh, but the first one at Montorp, we broke the drive shaft, and we had issues with the um, oil. The oil catch can for the ventilation of the engine was spitting out a bunch of oil. Yeah. Um, and then we had. Um, what did we have more? We had, uh, uh, we had, um, then we fixed the drive shaft. So that, that was taken care of. Uh, but then we had issues with, uh, uh, what was that after, after the drive shaft? We went back to, yeah, exactly. At Mantorp also we had the pro problem with the splitter. It was too soft. Yeah. So we fixed that, we fixed the drive shaft, we went back to Yellow Rosen. We did the test of Yellow Rosen had problems with the dry sump. Yeah. So we fixed the dry sump, uh, and then we came back, then we came back uh, to Yellow Rosen again for a new test, uh, and, um, uh, or actually for the competition. And we didn't know if we saw it, but we, for the competition, we extended the tank, the dry sump tank, uh, and then we actually uh, uh, made it the competition, but then we had issues with sound. Yeah, that was the kind of latest. So after that, we uh, from our friends at Dead Design got the new mufflers, uh, and we actually uh, we actually fixed that. We fixed the, the sound, I think, because we didn't have any issues at Got to Be. We did have some break issues. Yeah, we uh, yeah we had the brake issues as well. Yeah, and that was painful. So, I uh, I I went uh, I purchased uh, uh, I purchased one of these uh, reseal kits from what what are the the cylinders we have? Alcon. Yeah. Yeah. So we I purchased one of the reseal kits. It's basically O-rings for literally a liver price, um, and we got those. We, we re remapped, uh, I changed the O-rings, and then suddenly we had issues with one of the cylinders leaking. Funny. Uh, so, uh, I, and then I t uh, talked to Selholm, and they were like, yeah, we, they didn't really have any solution to it. Talked to Alcon, I mean, I talked to the guy initially, he was helpful, but then they said, you need to talk to Selholm. And Selholm really, I mean, yeah, they wanted me to bring the cylinder, and maybe I will do it this winter, we'll see. Uh, but in the end, I actually managed to purchase a second-hand cylinder. Uh, so I purchased a second-hand cylinder. Benefit of that was that we actually had the, uh, the cylinder sizing front and back was the same. And that was causing a lot of issues with bleeding the brakes, but also the, the pedal feel. We never got the pedal to be really solid. So we were looking at many different things, like everything from brake lines to uh, uh, calipers to like literally everything. Uh, and then we got uh, a zero, uh, zero 0.75 cylinder in the, back, in the front 
and now 0.85 in the back, and now it's perfect. So brakes are done, um, and then we had, what do we have more? I think that was, that, that was about it. We had issues, I mean, now the splitter is, is good, except for the last, last, last test we did, which, which was a complete shit show. Yeah, that was uh, But But uh, uh, the engine is working. Uh, yeah, we did a dyno. Oh, yeah, right. We can maybe pull in a clip from that. It's Here. playing, no. So we did a dyno, we just wanted to adjust the fuel, so we didn't have any expectations for, for power numbers. We said we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna run, we're just gonna run it, make sure that the fuel is, is, is good, because we saw that the engine blips on downshifts was, wasn't good, and that's, that's kinda due to that, uh, um, the, the, the fuel map wasn't good. So we went to the dyno, and then we actually, uh, did a fuel and we upped the boost a bit, not much. It was, I think, base pressure was 0 0.4 bars. Uh, so that is what, that's not even 7.5 PSI. Uh, and then uh, we, or I, uh, uh, raised it to 0 0.8. So almost one PSI, uh, almost, yeah, almost one, almost 15 PSI. Um, and that actually ended up being uh, 930, um, 30, something on 927 uh, horsepower on the rear wheels. Calculate to the engine is probably like 980 if you, if you do like a small um, calculation. Uh, so, so that was, uh, engine wise is good. It, it's it's kind of behaving good as well. We're gonna tear it down this winter and look at it. Uh, but yeah, overall it was good. Uh, I think um, we have some issues we need to fix now. Subframe from the front for a splitter that needs to be fully redone because yeah. it, it wasn't working. And also the last we test we did at Mantorp, we had, <laughs> so um, I did actually, so uh, uh, of all of the testing we have done previously, we have running the, the angle of the wing at minus five degrees. Uh, and then I talked to Paul, uh, ex virus engineering guy, and he was like, no, no, you're running zero or one degree, not nothing else. So then we put it at zero, and what happened? Uh, it uh, hella broke. Yeah, so the, the mounts that I have done in, in, a, in a stress, uh, they actually broke. Uh, so uh, uh, all of that broke, and we, uh, uh, we saved the wing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's lucky that we did. Uh, but uh, all of the gluing, everything of that broke. Yeah. It needs to be. Yeah, and all of on. the full back plate that we have in the back, that also uh, cracked. Yeah. Uh, but to, to be fair, it's a it's a poor it's a poor uh, solution, so I don't really. Uh, I don't really, you know, it was expected to be honest. So so the plan for today, we're gonna try to do some more vlogging this winter because we have been poor at it. So so we will try to do a bit better. Uh, so for uh, plan for today is to strip the car apart, take the floor down. And then if we will manage, we will uh, uh, extract the gearbox. I also have a cool thing to present. Uh, um, and that is that actually Albins, who is the supplier of the gearbox, are a partner for next year. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, so we are ha we're having a couple of talks with them right now. Uh, but um, we'll see. Um, I mean, the, the, the unit has worked. Yeah. So we, we don't really need... We kind of talked about having a spare one, uh, but I'm not sure if that's the case. No. I think, I mean, the, most of it, they have it in stock. Uh, 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 and perhaps we would, I don't know, maybe some some dog rings or something like that. Yeah, we would get parts. spare parts. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't think financially wise right now, it's not, uh, uh, you know, it's not a smart thing to buy a spare yeah. gearbox. Even if I think the deal would be good, I don't think uh, it's not, not where we should put the money right now. So, no. uh, so yeah, that's the plan. Lode is with me today, uh, and then uh, we will be 
uh, taking the car apart. So uh, tag along and we will try to do some talking as well, not just wrenching. Perfect. Interesting fact here, we have uh, these bolts that are, they are not heat treated, but they, they should be strong. Uh, but it's kind of maybe hard to see, but it's, it's on an angle. So this would need to be, this would need to be fixed. Uh, probably tool steel and then uh, uh, heat treated, heat treated ones. Uh, progress, how's your side going? Uh, I'm working on it. Yeah, we had different screws. I think um, these these Allen screws here actually are different on my side. I'm not sure why. I think it's because we worked on that left side more than this side. This side has kind of been working all yeah. all year. Uh, or yeah, th it was the left, the other side that the drive shaft. Yeah, it's always your side. It's always my side because I'm sitting on that side. Is that what what, what you're saying? I, I'm not saying anything. There are two screws inside as well. Oh. Did you take those? I'm working on it. Uh, so here, oh wow, it's so fatty, fatty there. I think that's that's uh, this is from uh, the the joints. Ew. Ew. Uh, make sure uh, when you uh, loosen these, make sure that these are tight. are tight on all of them, like they are not. So <laughs> that's a thing we need to do for next year. Um, and then when you loosen these ones, um, I made a. Th there's a. Um, you can take uh, with a, what, what is it called? Uh, uh, Skitnik. yeah. Uh, here. Uh, and then, but before you can release this one, you will probably need to, to loosen it up there. Yes. Great success? Great success. All right. Keep on, keep on working. <laughs> Can you show me the movement of uh, of that uh, top joint? How how did you uh, illustrate that to me? I said, is it moving like this? And you said, no, it's moving like how? It's moving like this. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> now I think uh, that one should should move a bit. Uh, there should be some play there. I think you are referring to this one, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah this sh should have some some play in it. You know what would be nice now to have uh, these uh, quick release uh, fittings on the brake lines. Yeah. Uh, also what I did was that I, wow, the brake calipers are so dirty from the joints. Mm. Uh, also what I did was that I, I marked these out. So I actually wrote, uh, left something, left, rear, rear left on mine. Barely used. So I, I don't think we overdid uh, or underdid uh, the grease in the joint. Uh, no. <laughs> because it's literally everywhere. I mean, it technically should stay in, inside of there, but it doesn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 the fix. I mean, we need to clean up all of this, and hopefully, it stays clean for the next season. You like, if we redo stuff, then uh, we, it could actually get clean. Yeah, or stay clean. 
Hello. Did you find the recording button? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we had to screw it back four times because I forgot to <laughs> press record. Hey, listen, I'm a pro. I know how to film. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not a big media production. It's you and I. Yeah. Did you see the suspension bolt? Uh, yeah. Look at it. It's it here. had uh, the shape of uh, banana. Banana. Banana Republic. Wrong one. It should be here. No. It is that one. It's it's not good. It's bent. Do you know what would happen if that would break? Uh, they're not not very good. No, no, boss, problem, broken. No, it would be shit. Uh, I saw this. Uh, I saw this. Uh, like here, you see it clearly. Yeah. Like if you compare to this one. Like compare, you see. Uh, very banana shape. Very banana shape. So, I mean, of course, I would understand that the forces on this are kind of, you know, it, they are kind of high forces on this. Um, but. I did not. I did not heat treat it. So, with that said, uh, if we heat treat it, I sh I think it should be good. Yeah. Um, not these ones, though. New ones. New ones. We make them with some better steel, uh, and then we heat treat them. Yeah. Then I think it should be good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I saw this. I think I saw this even like before we went to Montauk for the last test. I think I was. I always seen like it was a little bent. But yeah. Not that much. I'm almost blind. So. <laughs> Doesn't help much. <laughs> <laughs> so look, uh, this side is done. Uh, I, I had a I had a plan to remove the drive shaft from the center bolt. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> from the center bolt uh, thing, uh, but uh, uh, it's so we had the problem with the drive drive shaft. Uh, sorry, the joint yeah. that they were breaking. Yeah. And those were. China. Yeah, Chinatown. Chinatown. So uh, they actually, it's kind of funny because th the center stub, the middle one, it's, it has a, a splines on the inside. And I didn't, when we did the splines, I didn't think about kind of, you know, having the expansion and, and retraction when you do the heat treating of yeah. it. So, so, but with the China ones, they were so <laughs> free in the splines, yeah, so it wasn't good. no issue. And then we purchased, uh, I think it was SKF or something like that. Yeah. We pr purchased the, the real ones, which are kind of nice chromoly heat treated ones, uh, the joints, and, and we couldn't fit them. So we had to, you know, sand it up a little bit and, and, and do all of those things. So um, uh, I think that might, be, that might be something that we will need to look at at a later stage. At, le at least these are sitting, uh, uh, these are uh, uh, fixed. They are not uh, loose. Yeah. That's good. It uh, seems to be, uh, seems to be, uh, what am I doing here? There seems to be a, a theme of things that are loose. Yeah. I, I, this is a shitty position, to be honest. So I want to go here. I can't. I want to do here. I can't. You have to do I have to go, br way. yeah, I have to go and uh, uh, bring another tool. Why? Why? No, maybe here. I just need. Come on. Yes, that's what I need. Little a bit of uh, wiggle room, and then it's good. Le wiggle room. Wiggly room. Uh, so, no, um, we said uh, we said that we would, we would get one of these pens. You know these pens? Uh, uh, to the mark if it's Yeah, yeah, the mark it, or exactly yeah. if the bolt has moved, because then you don't need to kind of go and touch all of the bolts in an improper way, yeah. then you can just, uh, then you can just uh, um, see on the marking. But I haven't found a good pen for that, to be honest. No, me neither. So if anyone is watching these YouTube videos, not many are, but if they are, could you please link, link to this markup pen? Uh, I know that they are. Uh, I know they exist. Yeah, me too. I've seen them. But uh, when you Google it, like, what, what do you Google? <laughs> um. Like, I, I, I was close. 
So I googled like bolt check pen. And it's close, but then you get a bunch of other things which are not really correct. So, yeah. One control arm, and then we need to do the bottom one. Yeah, uh, the bottom one. You know what? The, well, you know what you can start with. Uh, we need to. We have uh, two of the. Uh, oh yeah, right. The yeah, uh, two of the fixing points for the floor are inside, so you could start uh, taking some of the panels out. I'm the only one sitting inside. The exactly. Uh, you could also technically all start removing all of the electrical stuff as well. Not sure yet, because we mm. need to film. We need to film uh, a vlog for some. Do you want to see? Let me show you. No dirty hands. So we have been cooking with these guys. Uh, so we have been cooking with these guys uh, for some time now. And uh, uh, they have really nice can products. So they have, uh, they have this one. Uh, then they also have this one. Uh, which is, uh, this is basically a canvas to thermocouple module. So you don't need to do other stuff. You basically have your DTM here with the, with the power and ground and then can, and then you have your thermocouples here. And this would then translate into a canvas DVC file, which you would put in most ECUs or in the dash directly. We haven't had the time to install this, but it will, we will do it this year, uh, this winter. Um, so they have that, and they have another I.O. module as well. But I wanted to show this, because this is, hopefully they will not shoot me, uh, but I don't think it's a super official yet. So together with CanCheck, we, uh, you know, I pushed in a direction where I said, hey, we need to find some really cool products for, for monitoring temperatures, like brake temperatures, uh, tire temperatures, and other things. So, uh, so they have made these. Uh, we haven't installed them yet uh, because it was, we actually received them, I think just kind of one or two days before the last event. Yeah. So, so it's unfortunate because I would love to have some data that we can look at this winter, but maybe we'll put it on my daily or something. I don't know, let's, <laughs> let's figure it out. But, but these are really nice. And also you can see here uh, that they have made like a threaded holes here. So you can actually, uh, you can actually purchase a lid. Oh. Uh, and it's a super special glass. So uh, when we got this, it wasn't really finished, but you would be able to purchase a lid, which is a, like a high tempered glass that doesn't crack. Uh, so if you get any stone chips or something on this, you wouldn't break the actual sensor itself. Yeah. You, you would just replace the lens. But I believe the, the, the lenses, because they are so high quality, they were quite expensive. So, um, so yeah, but so that we're gonna do a vlog about that how we connect it to the dash. Yeah. And then also I think there was a question about, uh, about uh, 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 some of the electrical stuff. Uh, Motec dash display, uh, uh, sorry, display and the ECU and all of those things. So that will, be, that will be a thing as well. We will make a nice table here with wiring connected and then we will uh, run it and show it. So that's, that's gonna be a thing. But I think now let's uh, continue, uh, see if we can get the floor down, down today. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Lede. Yes. It's time. It's time. We just need uh, a block of something. Block of something? You mean what? What do you mean? To uh, lift the floor. Can I r loosen these bolts or maybe these first? Maybe, no, maybe wait. Wait, no, wait, wait. Yes. I want something to uh, uh -huh. support. Support. Um, Ja, como estas? Como mo, mucho tráfico esta mañana. Esta mañana. Uh, ta, take a dunk. Take a dunk. Take a dunk. Is it the tax-free one? Yes. I, I can't remember what we had before, but I'm pretty sure that will work. Me too. Uh, you will need to remove it later on, but... Yes, obviously. But uh, can, can't you uh, pump the Domkraft higher? Yes, but uh, not very much. Because now you can't lower it. You need to have it as high as possible so you can lower it. Me, 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 
Yeah, yeah, I'm the smart guy. It's, it's, it's really obvious. You take this pipe here. Look at me, I'm the captain now. You take this pipe and you put some wooden plank here. We are out of wooden plank. Um, but then we find. I think we can find. Or maybe use cloth? No, no. Wood, wood is it's like a live material. It's uh, amazing. Nettar is also a live material if you beat it hard enough. No. Yes. So I, um, I had, wait, I had a wooden plank yesterday. We cleaned the workshop too good. Yes, but I have two in the front. I had big one here. I have a small one. Uh, is it d dark? Yes, really. Like brown, like yes. not like rain, brown rain, like brown. Yes, it's brown. It's okay. Wooden brown. Let me see. No, it's not that one. So mm -hmm. sh there should be um, there should be a wooden plank uh, that that I had. Uh, Maybe it went into the pit of fire. In, no, no fire, no fire. No fire, no mass, no mass. No mass. Mm -hmm. I wonder where it is. We, uh, hmm. damn it, it was here like yesterday. Uh, can you take this maybe? This, uh, I think this could work. Yes. Try to balance on that thing. I mean, this is just a carbon floor. What could happen? What could possibly go wrong? Are you a believer? Uh, yes. See? No problem. Okay, I lose now. Why? Now? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Ah, see? No big problem. No weight there at all. Come on. Ty lefty loosey, <laughs> righty tighty. Why is this so tight? Jesus Christ! It's spinning what? on this side. Is it? Yes. What, what did we do? Can you get a uh, uh, Alan? Yes. Yes, please get Alan. Where is Alan? <laughs> it's in the cabinet. This or this? That? No, this one. Like where there were before. No. No, here. Uh, did you put some Allens in the other car? Take this one. Two. Uh, this one. No, this one. So, uh, wait, turn, turn this thing off, otherwise there will be no YouTube money. No there, YouTube money. There will be no YouTube money then anyways. I, I won't get paid this month. Exactly. <laughs> no salary for you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, good, good, good. And now just these. Okay, we did tight is good. I'm happy for that. Yeah. Uh, Do you remember our first test? Yeah, it was loose. Yeah, yeah it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, there yeah. were no nuts. Yeah, there were no nuts. <laughs> we forgot the nuts. I mean, we were the nuts, so. Okay, one. Perfect. So now it's just two bolts left, then we can lower this thing, I think. Yeah. I can't remember if there's anything more stuck to this. We will find out. Mm, in a better way, I hope not. Wait, 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 wait. See? The most. Ex no, it's not tied into that. That's good. But I was wait, thinking the about the, the sensors. Yeah, but the brake light, my friend. Huh? The brake light. Oh, yeah, but that's a connector. Yeah, but where is the connector? It's, it's there, you see it. If you just open the eyes, open eyes, and then you see. <coughs> oh, 
Do you remember when we built, when we designed, when we did the designing of the car? We said, let's do a massive aero floor like Formula One. It's going to be amazing. Uh, not, not so much now. Okay. Can we get the stripes? For what? This thing. I don't like the triangle. No, but it's you can put like this. No problem. It's only. Don't short it out. No, but the battery is off. Okay. Okay. You go down, I go down. Oh, shit. Simon, where is the, here, wait. It's between the air jacks. <laughs> it's between the pipes. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, wait. Wait. Okay. Yes. Come. Coming. Okay, go faster. Wait, stop, 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 stop. What problem is? This shit won't turn. You need to eat your gröt and uh, uh, milk. Ah, perfect. Okay, go. 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 No problem, I no told problem. you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, do we back it out? Yes. Back, back, back it up. It's very dirty. <laughs> oh, you can't push that fast. <laughs> no, but you can remove. Yeah, you We're can. Good. Wait, wait, wait. I have a trick for this. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. In Sweden, we call it fucking shit. <laughs> Let's film. Did you say what? what? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's not good. Do we think, I mean, so, so. At least there are no parts in there, and that's good. That's good. So we can debunk the myth that the oil in the front is traveling from the back. Yeah. Because it's apparently there's a big edge there, so it wouldn't travel. It travels for the new laser right height sensor to the ground. So it's, it's like the... Super Mario Kart, when you do the, <laughs> the oil spill. The yeah. oil spill. Uh, can you smell it? Taste test? No, just smell it. Yeah, hold the floor. Yes, I, I'm holding oh. the I'm holding the floor. Can you, s don't tell me, it, it, don't tell me it smells like. Uh, Teen Spirit? F no, f well, what is it, 75 w for 140 <laughs> Hot taste? Good age. It tastes like blood. <laughs> well, that's good. Is it iron? But is it, wait. So is it red? No, it's. Does it smell like gearbox oil? It doesn't really smell like anything. And that's good. Could this be the oil when we, when we had the issue with the crank ventilation? That it's kind of been there since. It could be. Mm hmm. But it also could not be. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Is the gearbox wet? Yeah. It is? Yeah, but not, I mean, yeah, it is. Ah, that's, that's not good. Hopefully not broken. Yeah, I don't think, uh, oh, it's been drifting here. Could it be the drain plug? Yeah, that, that's it should smell, that should smell like gearbox oil. It does? It doesn't smell anything. Hmm. I don't know. It, it might, my nose might be broken as well. Yeah, you do, do too much drugs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. But it, I, I think it's from the oil plug because I think it's dry. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully oil plug. Otherwise, there will be an expensive call to Albins in Australia. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. I was hoping that we should take the gearbox out today, but I don't think we're going to manage with that. Huh? I don't think we're going to manage that. No, let's uh, it's let's, let's inside, pull out so. the floor and then just vacuum it and then um, uh, see what we can yeah. do more. Not good. What is this mess, Cole? <laughs> you mean the wires? Yeah, the wires. Yeah, I mean that that is that is a mess. I I can't deny that. Uh, the so wires, I think, to be honest, it's been a thing where it's been a thing where we kind of add things, add yeah. things, add things, and then don't really know if it's going to work or not. So the then- The latest addition were the uh, taillights. Yeah, exactly, the latest, no, and taillights and the, uh, these super expensive- Oh yeah. Uh, cost for ride, yeah, height, ride sensors. height sensors. Yeah, so, uh, but to be honest, uh, it's kind of intended uh, because uh, we just added cables, like look at these for the, 
Uh, Welcome uh, to Wego Town. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's uh, the company uh, that uh, uh, I think they call LA Current. Uh, they provided that unit for us. So we literally plugged it in like what the day, the night before. The night went, before yeah. Up, yeah. And many of the thing like this has been like this. So we just strap it there and then this winter we will clean it up and make it perfect. But now we know what we need and, and what, what, is, uh, what is working, what's not. So, yeah. so I think that that's good. But I think it's going to be good for today. We continue uh, on the next episode next time and continue tearing this apart. Oh, uh, if this is a good vlog, thumbs up, subscribe. All of those things. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. I like the comments. I try to reply to all of the comments. Ask questions. Yeah, ask questions. There is no question that's too stupid, to be honest, because this is a stupid build. So. Only your questions. Oh, your questions. Shut, shut your face. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.